Hello everybody. Uh, we are going to look into graph generator listener now. So what is graph generator listener? Graph generator listener is a listener where you can generate PNG files as a, uh, you can generate each of the reports that you want as a PNG file which will get stored on your local uh, drive and then you can uh, copy those PNG files wherever you wish. If you want to present a report to the senior management then you can just take a screen print of that PNG file you can place it in your report. So that's what is graph generator listener. So the way to do that is you need to download these two jars first. First you need to download the graph generator listener and if you click on this download it will take you to the download link and graph generator listener generates the following graphs active threads over time, response times over time, transaction per second, etc, etc. So how does graph generator listener know which graphs to generate? It generates the graphs based on report generator dot properties. The report generator dot properties file is in your bin folder and whichever graph you put over here, it will take uh, entries from this file and it will generate those graphs. So that is how graph generator listener generates graphs. It takes this as an input for whichever graphs it needs to generate. So now uh, for this we need two jars and those two jars we need to place in the proper folders. So once you download those two jars, you will come to know, uh, it, it will give you the instruction like when you download it, it will tell you which library it has to be installed in. So you install it in the corresponding folders and then restart JMeter. Once you restart JMeter, you have to create the test plan and uh, we will go ahead with that. I have already created a test plan just to save time and this is my test plan. I had al also run it uh, to check and this is my test plan. I have added a thread group. This is a normal thread group where I have put the number of threads as one the ramp up period as 0 and the loop count as 1. I have put the home page as uh, yeah here you need to take into account the request defaults. I have put the app URL in the server name and this app URL is coming from batch test. So here I am taking the example of livecharger.org. I have put all the user defined variables in the test plan itself. Coming to the home page, the home page simply takes the inputs from the request defaults where the request defaults is taking the entry from batch test test plan. <clears throat> so the app URL at runtime will get replaced by the app URL in test plan. Similarly about page we just mentioned the path over here about rest of the things are taken care by the request defaults HTTP. Then comes the archive page, same thing applies for the archive page. Then I have added a graph generator over here. You will be able to add the graph generator once you have installed the correct jars in the appropriate directories. So the way you do that is you right click on your uh, test plan and you will find the graph generator listener in your listener section. Uh, you will find it somewhere over here yeah here jp at gc graph generator so this is the way you add the graph generator to your test plan i have also added a view results tree now we will try running this uh, test plan and uh, yeah also you need to take care that in the graph generator let's see these things let's uh, configure the graph generator first the output folder lists uh, which folder it has to create and this will create the folder called graphs in the bin directory. Then we have the jmeter results file. This will uh, be generated in the bin directory and it will be a JTL file. Then uh, here you have the export mode as PNG. You can put export mode as PNG, CSV or both. If we put both, both the PNG and CSV files will get generated. Here there is a prefix, file prefix, which you can put. We will look into file prefix later. 
here uh, when you add the graph generator listener the default will be around 60000 uh, milliseconds so you can change it to 1000 milliseconds as i have done over here and rest of the things are pretty pre-filled when you add the graph generator listener so these are the details about the graph generator listener and uh, now since we have completed our uh, theoretical portion and uh, completed our test plan creation let's put our cursor on the view results tree and then we can uh, run our test but i would suggest that we increase the number of users to around 5 and then we can run our test let's uh, change this uh, the advantage of using user defined variables in your test plan is you can change the you can override these values from your uh, command prompt when you give a jmeter command to execute in non gui mode so that is the way you do it i have changed the p users to uh, 5 and in the test plan in the thread group i have disabled the scheduler so this even if i have mentioned the <laughs> excuse me even if i have mentioned the duration over here it won't take into account the duration okay i added one more uh, variable called loop underscore count and i have put that as two so now let's go ahead put our cursor on view results tree and we can run it it started running now let's see the results as they appear on the screen later on we will do some few more modifications to our test yeah the results have started coming in okay our test are done and all our tests have passed and we have run uh, 20 uh, how many uh, users we have taken we have run for those many users and uh, let's look into the graphs directory whether the graphs have been generated and our graphs directory is apache jmeter 3 bin graphs and in that we have these graphs generated let's look into each of these graphs so first is the bytes throughput over time this gives uh, bytes received per second and versus bytes sent per second so this is a very important graph as far as our analysis concern analysis is concerned next comes the hits per second so uh, this gives the server hits per second then we have latencies over time and as you have seen we can uh, adjust the number of graphs we want using the report generator dot properties file so these are all graphs these ki these are kind of composite graphs throughput versus threads where you can see what was the throughput versus how many threads were there and you can uh, analyze the results in this manner the detailed analysis will come as a part of the advanced session that i will be providing so that will be covered later on so moving ahead let's uh, currently you see that we don't have any distinct uh, we we don't have any way of distinguishing these graphs so how do we distinguish our graphs if there are plenty of graphs then how how do we distinguish that these graphs have been generated in this run these graphs have been generated in the second run so the way you do that is you add a prefix to your uh, graph generator setting so you see this file prefix over here you add a prefix over here say we want uh, jmeter run 1 or prj run 1 run 1 so uh, if we have to bifurcate based on our run 1 run 2 run 3 we can do it using our file prefix so once you add the file prefix it will append the file prefix in front of your graphs and this way you can compare two graphs from two different runs so let me go ahead and delete uh, my graphs directory and let's run the reports again 
so graph directory is deleted and we have set our uh, file prefix so save it and then uh, further uh, i would like to explain you uh, exclude samples so here uh, if you go below uh, let me bring the cursor here so include only samples so you can include few samples which you want or you can exclude samples uh, with regular expressions you can include exclude uh, you can set your include exclude criteria over here this is the way you do it so filtering configuration you can modify for now let's keep the filtering configuration as it is and uh, let's run our test and let's see what uh, how we get the graphs so uh, this time we are going to run it uh, through the command prompt and uh, we will disable the view results tree listener because view results tree is a resource consumer so let's disable it and let's run our test through the command prompt okay in order to run it through uh, command prompt we need to set our batch file this is the best way guys i would suggest that you use the command prompt whenever you want to uh, i mean you use the batch file whenever you, you uh, want to run it through command prompt you just new, need to change a few parameters here and you are all set with uh, your execution so let me change uh, let me remove the uh, j users uh, parameter and j ramp up period parameter and we will be all set to run our graph generator listener and we will be generating a csv file uh, using this uh, batch file so i save it and let me run it now so the name of our file is my file dot bat there you go it started it has started writing the logs and it has started execution let's see whether it is creating our uh, graphs directory it will create it's in the process of creating the graphs directory yeah so it has started uh, the threads execution it's executing let it execute i will pause the video for that time okay okay our execution is done and uh, there are no errors so let's see our graphs directory now first we will see uh, but okay we have disabled our uh, view results tree already so let's go into the graphs directory and see how we get our result see uh, did you notice on uh, before the start of the name of every uh, graph there is the name prj run1 so this indicates that all these graphs are from run1 so you can put these graphs away once you finish run1 and then in run2 you can uh, generate a different set of graphs using prj run2 and compare the corresponding graphs run by run so this is the advantage of the prefix okay now one more thing to be done is parameterizing the result file so here what i have done is in jmeter results file section instead of providing the hard coded path to the results file i have created a parameter called result output and i have passed it to this jmeter result file now you will be using this uh, result output in your uh, batch file for execution in the uh, jmeter command that you give and you will be populating this result output with the csv file name let's see how to update our batch file i am opening the batch file now so this is my batch file okay edit and this is the way i have updated my batch file 
so j meter minus n minus t the jmx path minus l the csv file name and the same csv file name i have put a parameter called minus j result output and i have passed the same csv file name to this result output so this is the only change i have done over here and in the test plan i have put the result file as a parameter so that's all you need to do to uh, parameterize your result file so whatever file name you uh, want to provide at run time you can do that as per your requirements so now let's run this one uh, through our uh, batch file on the command prompt and let's see our results so it's my file see how convenient this is so going forward please i recommend you to use this batch file concept let's see uh, what is the status of our graphs directory is it there it's not there yet uh, it, it will get created eventually so uh, while this is running i will just pause this video and we'll come back soon okay we are done so the graphs directory has got generated let's look into the graphs directory we have our files uh the names as expected and this is how you generate graphs using uh, parameterizing your uh, output directory uh, name rather than giving a hard coded output directory for graphs you parameterize it uh not for graphs for the csv result file so in uh, the uh, as you can see over here i have parameterized the jmeter result file as result output and this is the way you do it and uh, the output folder i have not changed the graphs will get generated in the graphs folder with a file prefix of prj run1 so that's all about uh, generation of uh, uh, yeah, png files or rather uh, individual files for graphs which you can use for your projects and for reporting this is a very good tool for reporting so <clears throat> it's appropriately named graph generator so that's all about graph generator thanks a lot